The building you see behind me is used on a daily basis for youth and adult ministries. The leaders here at Freedom Fire Ministries say this damage is a setback, but they do have plans in place to continue their programs. For the last 25 years, Freedom Fire Ministries has brought families closer to God. Well, we have youth from the neighborhood here almost every every day. So we, we have a church service that meets here on Sundays. But this sanctuary where people come to pray will be closed temporarily. Kansas City police say a Chevy Silverado was speeding on Troost when it hit a car head on and crashed into the ministry. I got a call from our security uh, company. I came around 1230 last night and saw the truck that was stuck inside here, result of an accident. My first feeling was, was sympathy for those involved in the crash. It was a little shocking to me. I, uh, I was like, wow, this is a building that we use throughout the week and uh, this has been a gift to us. The Kansas City Police Department is investigating whether the driver was impaired during the time of the crash. While part of the building is under repair. We're not going to be able to use this half of the building for some time because there's some structural things that we have to take care of, make sure it's safe. Their foundation in God is strong. So they say they'll weather this situation and have found a way to continue its services for now. We had a, a, a cover and put over a basketball court in the back. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, set up this Sunday for our gathering. We'll go on with our worship service and uh, you know just have a great time worshiping God and thanking God. Monica Castro, Fox 4, working for you.